Hi everybody, I'm Jenny of Pampering by LJ and welcome to my channel. You probably see right behind me maybe um, I just picked up my Instacart order from the grocery store, and it is Friday, and so it is time to head home. <laughs> this has been a crazy busy week at work. And what I mean by crazy busy is that it's been very stressful. And I've been on the go, go, go at work, juggling several projects and students at the same time on some big issues and big initiatives that we've got going on. And so this was quite a week for me. But I do feel like I got through my week with some pretty good strategies for myself and my stress level. And I would feel, I really feel like today, it's Friday and I'm headed home, that I had a successful week um, related to my health and my career and keeping everything in balance. So I would chalk it up to a big success. I want to talk a little bit about what I've learned this past month as I've been tracking things like my mood and my stress level and my calendar because um, I, I showed you last week that I have a new little journaling system um, that I'm using and it really is working for me. Um, I will insert some clips in here to show you some things that are highlights for me that I've been using. So you know that I, and for those of you that have watched my channel for a while, you know I'm a huge meal planner and um, at a week at a time, I definitely plan out my dinner meals, what I'm going to have throughout the week. And I base them around my calendar, my schedule on how much stuff I've got going on in the evenings and how much time that I have for cooking or cooking ahead some on the weekends. And then typically once a week, I uh, make an Instacart order, which is a huge time saver for me. I mean, I like going to the grocery store and picking things out, but number one, when I do that, I spend at least an hour, hour and a half in the grocery store because I'm looking at new things and looking at ingredients and all this kind of things, which I like to do. But, you know, when you're time crunch, you don't have time to do it. Um, and so Instacart saves me a ton of time and I always spend less money when I use my Instacart order versus going into the grocery store because I'm not picking up extra items too. So I plan out my meals by looking at my week and saying, okay, what do I have? What nights do I really need to keep it low key because I need to do leftovers? How much do I need to cook? And I just plan out my dinners pretty much. My uh, things that I eat for breakfast and lunch at, at work are pretty much the same all the time. I mix it up a little bit, but those are just staples. I don't really have to plan that too much. I just grab the things that I normally eat during the work day. And then I, and I put those in my Instacart order too. But so on, I found the best day for me on the picking up my groceries is actually on Friday. And then I don't have to worry about doing my meal plan or my grocery shopping on the weekends because I want my weekend time to not be full of chores. <laughs> and really grocery shopping and meal planning is a chore, right? So I try to do, I try to figure out my meals and things like that, like on a Thursday night, make my little order, then pick it up Friday. So then when I'm getting ready, and, and typically we, um, on, on Saturday, we go out for dinner, and Sunday is my day that if I want to do any cooking ahead, I do it on Sunday. And so I've got my groceries for Sunday all the way through next week. So that works out pretty well for me. Um, I, over the last two or three weeks, I've been doing 
um, more cooking on Sundays, as in making a couple meals on Sundays so that I can have the leftovers throughout the week. And then that's only, then, then really I only feel like I need to cook one night through the week, which is helpful to me. I probably don't even have to do that because like last weekend I made, um, well, I'm going to put in some video here and show you what I made. It's Sunday, so I did a little cooking ahead for the week coming up. Made a big pot of chili. Got my million dollar spaghetti ready to go. Four servings of that in that casserole. Plenty of Jiffy cornbread. So you can kind of see what I'm having this Sunday. I'm having one of those Jiffy muffins a cup of my chili, and then a couple tablespoons of some shredded low-fat cheese. So definitely we will get two or three nights for sure out of this. And then I have ready to go a roast with some potatoes that I'm gonna make later on in the week in my crock pot. Setting myself up for success this week. Here's my healthy dinner for tonight. This is the million dollar spaghetti that I make and those are palmini noodles in there. So absolutely delicious, rich, decadent. Um, on my WW app, this counts for um, 13 WW points, the way I make it. And uh, it's a complete lean and green meal. Here's my healthy dinner for tonight. Super excited by this. Put a big roast in the crock pot all day. And it smells delicious. So I've got four ounces of the uh, rump roast bottom and then about a cup of carrots and then half a cup or a cup of red potatoes, a little bit of gravy and one of my Hawaiian rolls. Looks delicious. Another thing that's really helped out with my stress level is some nightly de-stressing activities that I've done. So I'm going to show you kind of here my planner of what I've done each night this past week to help myself relax, unwind, and I'm keeping track of it in this planner. But one of the things I really found that I enjoyed um, this past week with the nice cooler temperatures was if I got a chance to be outside, um, I was doing something a lot of the times outside, whether it was a walk or a bike ride, but other times I just wanted to really relax and not do something, but I wanted to do some thinking and some reflecting. And so I got into doing this coloring page and it was really soothing and listening to some music while I did that out on the deck in the fresh air and I wasn't accomplishing anything, but I really felt like it relaxed me and I liked it. So that's a, that's a new strategy for me. I've never been a colorer before or anything like that, but that's something I'll continue into this fall for some just different ways to relax. One of the big ways I relax typically is with like a hot bath in the evening times, maybe a cup of hot tea, or I've really gotten into the decaffeinated coffees with some like sugar-free um, sweeteners, sugar-free cream, creamers in them. Um, at night, it has to be decaf, of course, or it keep me up, but um, those are really relaxing to me too. And so those are some things I, I've always kind of done not always, but in the last couple of years, I've done a lot of those things. One of the things I've been tracking all this month in my journal has been related to my food choices and drinking choices. I switched over from doing really low carb and um, into more of the tracking trying to get my blue dots in the Weight Watchers app. Um, I kind of shifted over to that and I'm back into tracking everything into my WW app. And so going forward for October, my goal for October each day 
is to earn blue dots on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I want blue dots on all those days. The other two days, Fridays and Saturdays, is when I plan to do to indulge more. I'm still tracking everything because it's just information that I'm tracking. But I anticipate that I will go over and I may not earn um, blue dots on those days, but I'm still tracking it. And typically Friday or Saturdays is when I have some wine and we go out to dinner. Still tracking all those things, but really the goal is going to be blue dots on Sunday through Thursday. And then you can see on my new October plan that these are the goals that I'm going to really focus on that really I think are going to benefit my health. Well, Friday is my weigh-in day, so I hopped on the scale this morning. I was very pleased with my results. I'll put a little picture in right here so you can see it. <laughs> Scale's going down. I'm, you know, my healthy habits are back in place and I'm feeling good. I'm past my 30-day healthy reset. I've had another successful week. I feel really great about where I'm at. I'm glad I dropped below um, 200 again. Um, my clothes are fitting really nicely. Uh, it really feels good. Really feels good. Uh, we are um, gonna have a pretty busy weekend as far as James is gonna be working most of the weekend. And so that means for me, I'm gonna find some time to do some fun fall things around here at our house. Um, I am planning on getting out the Halloween decorations, decorating outside for that, and then maybe getting some mums and working them into our yard or our front landscaping. And so I'm excited about that. He'll be working all weekend, so maybe I'll have a little bit more time just to kind of relax and do my own thing. Because normally when James is around, we go, 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 go. We have fun but we go, 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 go and do things all the time. So that's my plan for the weekend. Uh, tonight, I'm super excited because we are going to Johnny's Jazz Club at 6.30 tonight. Uh, we've got reservations for their couch and they're having live music and a little wine and charcuterie and some live music tonight be a nice way to end out my week and then look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Thanks for checking in. Bye.